Hello, and welcome to Act Promptly, the improv game show. I am your host, Ellie Spectacular, and I didn't write a joke. Again, this is like the third time I've just not written a joke for the start, and I've looked at my script and realized at the last possible second, wait a minute, that's last week's joke, so sorry. Uh, but here's something that's not a joke. B is one of the coolest people in the world, and they will be acting as our scorekeeper and uh, running some behind the scenes tech stuff. Give it up for B. I'm not a joke, but I have a joke. This one killed in the pre-stream chat. What do you call uh, a zoo that's only got one animal in it, and it's a dog? I don't know. What do you call a it's zoo? It's a shit zoo. Oh, my God. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> I already won X promptly with that one. Yep, it was a it's consensus. True. Everyone agreed, so sorry, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> Stream's over. Have a great night. Let's find someone to raid. Yep. Uh, thanks so much for being here. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Just kidding. Anyway, uh, it is great to have y'all here. Uh, I am here as well with uh, three of my wonderful friends who will be participating in this game as contestants. But this is no ordinary episode of Act Promptly. These three have been specially invited to return to the show for a second chance at victory after their precious W's were only narrowly taken from them. Uh, so let's start with our little introductions. First up, returning from episode four, get that timer out of the screen. I don't want it. <laughs> I got, only got 30 seconds to introduce myself. <laughs> uh, returning from episode four, the beloved streamer girl from streamergirl.net with an impressively diverse set of technical and performance skills, it's Sophie. Hi, my name is Sophie. I uh, make funny th things, uh, such as video game and speaking on the internet. And this part's not a joke. I think my dishwasher just broke. Oh no, that's no fun. I just heard a beep. <laughs> oh god, a beep. did it break just now? Literally as I was speaking, yes. Oh my god, well I I, I hope that's okay. Do you need us to like no, it's fine. delay it's the episode? It, this is the fourth time it's happened since we moved here. Oh my god, I'm so sorry to hear that. Well, hopefully uh, today's game can take your mind off of that uh, and into <laughs> some more uh, lighthearted places. It is so good to have you if on I the win, show again. If I win, I'm gonna use my price money to fix my dishwasher. Aww. Yeah. <laughs> I'll get a new hey. dishwasher from Throne. <laughs> uh, next up, looking to reclaim glory from episode six, the media marvel, amazing analyst, and essayist extraordinaire, it's Lady Emily. Hey! Wow, you're better at selling me than I am at selling me. <laughs> Hi, I'm Emily, otherwise known as Lady Emily, otherwise known as co-writer Emily. I write video essays for my own channel, Lady Emily, as well as Sarah Zed. You can just call me Emily, though. You might have seen me in episode six, Return of the Jedi. I played Palpatine. <laughs> <laughs> and if I win, I'm going to use the prize money to break Sophie's dishwasher again. <laughs> Oh, wait, I'm in it to win. Doesn't win. It'll still be broken. It'll be double broken. <laughs> double broken. <laughs> oh my God. Well, thank you so much for uh, your very, your very quick and concise listing of all the things you've done. Uh, Personally, I enjoyed your performance as Palpatine. Um, thank you. Thank somehow I'm gonna return back here and <laughs> somehow <laughs> actually episode nine. Hold on. Somehow Lady Emily returned. <laughs> <laughs> um, thank you so much for being on the show again. It is great to have you here. Uh, finally, rising from the ashes of episode five, the VTuber sensation sweeping the nation, the pink creation for every occasion. It's Mar. <laughs> Bit of a slant rhyme at the end there, Ellie. I'm a little I don't. I don't care. I don't care. This is my show. <laughs> <sighs> it smells pretty good in here. Oh yeah, what's it smell like? Victory. Ooh. Are you gonna claim victory for yourself? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess we'll find out. Uh, what are you gonna do if you win the game? If I win the prize money. I'm going to use it to get into Sophie's dishwasher because so, so clean. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dirty, disgusting. I'm so full of dirt and I need to get inside a dishwasher and I want it to make me turn around all sorts of different directions. So, <laughs> so full of all kinds of grime and scrungus. Well, hopefully you can be uh, scrungus free at the end of the night. Um, it is so wonderful to have everybody here. Uh, these three will be tasked with playing an improv game where they will come up with ideas without a script for your entertainment and compete for the grand prize of da -da 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 -da. $25 in thrown gifts. The winner will receive a gift sent directly to them, totaling 25 US dollars or less, or receive the prize amount toward a crowdfunded item of their choice. We're not sponsored by thrown gifts, but we want to show some appreciation to the player who puts on the best show. Uh, for those viewing the show live, there will be a poll before the game's final round where you can help decide the winner by voting to give them additional points. And if you'd like to keep Act Promptly going, you can send a tip in chat by typing exclamation point tip into the chat box during the show or by going to streamelements.com slash ellie spectacular slash tip. 
You can also tweet about the show using the hashtag ActPromptly on Twitter. And finally, if you'd like to submit your own prompts for us to act out in a future episode, just type exclamation point suggest into the live Twitch chat or check the description on YouTube. I'm sure our players are eager to play, so are we ready to act promptly? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah, all right. Sure. Yeah, I mean, if that's what we're doing here. Like, I mean, yeah. if, if you want. I just, I was ready to just sit down slant a little bit, but. Yeah, I, you know. <laughs> I mean, if you guys would rather, like, break out the Catan board or something like that, we could do that. Yeah. No, yeah, no, yeah, I, mean, yeah. look, we're, I mean, we're here. We're here. It's fine. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. yeah. yeah you know what? Why don't, why don't we, in that case, uh, get started with something simple? Why don't we get started with some act promptly classic? Uh, players, I would give you a prompt and you have 30 seconds to act out your response however you choose. You can explain it plainly. You can act it out as a character. You could even act it out as multiple characters. The choice is entirely up to you. Uh, if I like your response, I will give you a point or as many as three points if I really like it and if I'm not sure I will ask B what they think uh, once you've taken a second to consider the prompt just say I'm ready and I will start your time we're going to begin with Sophie Sophie are you ready for your first prompt I am wonderful here is your prompt uh, giving a hand-me-down to your younger sibling that they definitely don't want <laughs> hey there so you know I know that uh, I I've got something for you and I think you're really gonna like it. I, you know, we've talked about this for ages and you know, I, I've just, I've seen you looking, you know, I've seen I've seen that little gleam in your eye and I know that, well, I know you look up to me and I know that, you know, stuff that I use, you know, you're, you're really interested in it. And so I've decided that I, I'm willing to give you this. This is my pair of underwear. And it's yours now. Oh my god. Go. <laughs> oh. I was, you know, I, I knew it was going to be something gross when I wrote this prompt. <laughs> I really appreciate that that you just like, that, that you delayed it as long as you did or waited until like almost literally the last second. Uh, so I <laughs> am going to give you, I'm going to give you a solid two points for that one. I liked it a lot. Oh, thank you. Uh, next up is Emily. Emily, are you ready for your first prompt? You know, I guess so. Let's do this. <laughs> Alrighty, let's do this. Uh, your first prompt is... Renowned Chinese restaurant announces retirement of the shrimp who fried this rice. The Golden Corner <laughs> is sad to announce the retirement of our beloved chef. Squiggles. Don't laugh, please. Don't laugh at the name. He doesn't like that. That's why he's retiring. Please, oh. no, just don't. Like, okay, I know you're upset about the rice, but like, stop giggling. His name's Squiggles. He's just a shrimp. It's fine. Don't laugh. Oh, fine. Okay. Squiggles, come on. Come back. Come back. Oh, jeez. I'm Squiggles. <laughs> that, that, that was really good. I like that. You called us all out for giggling. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that that was yeah, good. I also crowd work. There. I also love the golden corner. <laughs> the golden corner. That's that's that, definitely a name of a real restaurant oh, yeah. <laughs> for sure. That tickled me. Uh, you're gonna get three points for that one. <laughs> Woo. Uh, next up is Mar. Mar, are you ready for your first prompt of the game? La la. It's a real simple prompt. Ice cream parlor unveils their flavor of the year. Hi everybody, it's me, Steve Jobs Jr. and uh, we had a great year. Uh, the sales were through the roof, uh, and we had it was a, it was an awesome, awesome time for the year of uh, the ice cream economy. Um, and to really celebrate, to really let you guys know what's happening, what was the most successful, uh, I have here the uh, greatest ice cream flavor of the year. Uh, it's tires. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I. Ew, like, <laughs> I, I love that. I love how subversive that was because you managed to make it something uh, super unappealing and very funny, but also completely out of left field. And I respect that. <laughs> uh, I am going to give you two points for that one. That's why they call me left appearing Mar, baby. <laughs> I'm always saying this. Uh, I'm always uh, leaning this way. Mar. <laughs> uh, Sophie, we're back over to you. Are you ready for your next prompt? I am. All right, here it is. Uh, Waking up on the wrong side of the bed is not an idiom. It is a debilitating situation to be in. You've just described my real, my actual real life. Pain, but okay. <laughs> Let me go ahead and just craft a, a joke about my, my chronic pain. Sure. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Oh. Since the dawn of the first millennia, many have searched for the ring of power, and it lays in my hands. This responsibility is mine. They say 
It curses and corrupts those who wear it. But I believe it is another. Is for when your bed is a little too uncomfy, perhaps a little lumpy, the hatred in your soul boils and bubbles. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's not where I was expecting that to go, but I liked it. <laughs> Thank you. I, I liked it a I lot. Did, I, I didn't know you were a Skyrim NPC. Awesome. <laughs> uh, I'm going to give you three points for that one. Thank you. That was good. Uh, Emily, we're back over to you. Are you ready for your next prompt? I am ready for my next prompt. All right, here it is. Uh, Louvre tour guide discovering a new art piece mid-tour that concerns them greatly. Okay, so if you look over here, uh, past the crowd of people all the way a mile away, you can see the Mona Lisa. It's not really that interesting, but if you look over here, oh, that's, that's a painting of, of me. <laughs> Do you all see that? Wait, does it look older now? It looks older. There's my girlfriend. She has a ring on her finger now? Where'd she go? She's gone. She's gone from the painting. I look happy that she's gone. Oh my god. <laughs> Damn. Man, twist after twist. I just watched twist. an entire film. Whoa. Yeah, that was crazy. Oh my god. I, Sell I... that to Netflix. <laughs> I think that was a Mario 64 level. <laughs> Oh yeah, as you get closer, your girlfriend disappears from the Bowser painting. <laughs> and, and then it turns into Divorce Bowser. Valley. <laughs> that was great. Uh, you're gonna get three points for that one. Thank you. Uh, can, I, can I put them anywhere? Yeah, you can, you can just set them down wherever. <laughs> you could just oh. move those over out of the way. Oh, okay. Uh, no, okay, I'm just set them down here. Uh, Mar, we're back over to you. Are you ready for your next prompt? Yes. All right, I need you to give me the real reason Ash Ketchum left home and became a Pokemon trainer. Oh. oh my god, finally, finally, oh my god, I can change that fucking stupid fucking last name, man, oh my god, this is the worst last name, what kind of last <laughs> name is Ketchum? I can finally, finally go with the name that I've always, always wanted, that's right. Ash got him. Oh, I'm heading off to the Poke. I'm heading off to the Pokemon Center right now. Yes, I love that. Everyone knows when you become a Pokemon trainer, you get to change your whole name. I. It's like marriage. I I love that. At 11 years old. Because I was I was ready to make a similar joke and be like, you have to become a Pokemon champion in order to change your name. But also, you've perfectly made that make sense. Like, oh yeah, no, we couldn't call him Ash got him if you didn't get him. <laughs> yeah. uh, that's the thing. That's he's great. Getting, he's getting all those crazy badges. <laughs> that's, that's that's wonderful. Uh, I'm going to give you three points for that one. Ash Gotham was my favorite ace attorney prosecutor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. Uh, Sophie, we're back over to you. Are you ready for your next prompt? I sure am. Alrighty, here it is. A golf commentator commentating on a wrestling match. And the two competitors have entered the field. They are... Sizing each other up, you see, we on the left we have Alakazam Chad, who is uh, who has been quite popular lately in this season. And on the right we have, oh, and oh, they're just getting right into it. We don't even get time for introductions. They are, they are just piling away on each other. As a pile driver, you may see. Oh, oh, very excellent. That that's a, a wonderful atom bomb maneuver. Chad's uh, uh, signature. Can I get a clap from the audience? That was very good. <laughs> Expertly done. <laughs> I I was so tempted to, to hop on in as JR and be like, why don't you go ahead and talk yourself up just a little bit, just through the microphone <laughs> just a little bit higher. <laughs> That's good. Uh, I, I see no reason to not give you three points for that one. <laughs> Emily, we're back over to you. Are you ready for your next prompt? I was born ready, figuratively. Good to hear it. Uh, your prompt is... Early human invents the 2000 BCE equivalent of a self-help book. Korg. No need help. <laughs> Korg have developed stone guide. Korg has listed 12 rules for cave life. <laughs> oh, God. First rule. Fire. Good. Beast. Bad. Step two, clean cave. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my god. Um, we, we love you, Korg. <laughs> that 
Thanks, Cork. Cork loves you. <laughs> uh, that's that's gonna get you three points. I need to I need to be more stingy with these points. If everybody keeps getting three points all the time, we won't have much of a game. Now will we? We'll, we'll get we'll get evil em, uh, evil Ellie down the line. <laughs> we'll get evil Ellie later on. Uh, Mar, it is time for your next prompt. Are you ready for it? Okay. All right. Uh, here it is. Realizing too late that this genius joke you made up in elementary school isn't as funny as you used to think. Oh, I feel like this is strangely relatable. <laughs> <laughs> I am. I, I am like I, personal experience. Oh, I, I gotta pull. I gotta pull deep within the Mar depths in order to get this one. <laughs> hey. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> guys. Turns out we couldn't go Pokemon go to the polls. We couldn't do it. It wasn't good. It wasn't good. I, I thought it was good. We couldn't Pokemon go to the polls. I thought it was I thought it was good, but it wasn't good this whole time. It was just Pokemon Go. I thought it was <laughs> You know, I I enjoyed the idea that <laughs> Hillary Clinton thought of that as a kid before Pokemon Go existed. <laughs> and it was just like saving as Hillary Clinton. Yeah, saving it in her pocket. <laughs> um, that was good. I'll I'll give you two points for that one. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for that. Uh, Sophie, we're back over to you. Are you ready for your next prompt? I am. Here it is. Zoo worker reporting an HR complaint about an animal's workplace behavior. I've been working here for fifteen years. I've put my blood, sweat and tears into this establishment. And the hyenas keep eating my pumpkins full of raw meat. That's my lunch, okay? <laughs> Unless you guys are gonna start paying me for my lunches, because I have to I have to pack those in myself. I, I'm, 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 I'm gonna quit, I'm gonna quit. That is my raw meat, it comes from my fridge. They can't keep eating it. That's, that's really fucking good. Uh... <laughs> I am very concerned that someone is just bringing an entire pumpkin full of raw meat and also what, managing- Do you have an issue with my lunch? I do. You got that keto diet. <laughs> I'm taking you to HR. You're gonna start judging what I eat. Wow. Probably <laughs> HR. <laughs> um, that was good. Uh, I, I'm gonna give you three points for it. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all gotta stop being so funny. Stop. Evil Ellie's not here yet. <laughs> no, stop it. <laughs> um, Emily, we're back over to you. Are you ready for your next prompt? I am ready. All right, here it is. Uh, infomercial marketing socks like it's a brand new innovation. Tired of walking around barefoot? Trying wearing shoes, but your feet keep chasing and slipping off. Hi, <laughs> Billy Mays here with a fantastic new invention that will help you get around the house, get around outside, and get your feet feeling great and warm. Now called fabric footers. <laughs> Made of fabric, these industrial tubes go up your legs, adding a buffer zone between your feet and the soles of your sneakers or boots. That is so spot on, first of all. That's exactly calling how they it, word calling it. Calling it a buffer zone is insane. <laughs> you know, buffer zone is the perfect like terminology for mm -hmm. an infomercial. It really encapsulates that like sounds scientific, but it's just like complete bullshit. Uh -huh. <laughs> I can just picture like a, a infographic of like a foot and a leg, and then it's like highlighting the buffer zone. Oh, you this know it's perfect, like Channel black 3. and white footage of like a guy like trying to walk <laughs> outside and he slips on ice or something. Or he steps <laughs> on a floor. And... <laughs> uh, that's 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 uh, that's three points. That's th that's three of them. All right, we're back over to you. Are you ready for your next prompt? Okay. All right, here is your prompt. The birds and the bees talk, but it's actually important info about real birds and bees. <laughs> <laughs> the end. That's so that bird got some wild too. Holy fuck. That, that sure was the birds and the bees talk. <laughs> but I don't understand what that was about. Why didn't you bring these into my room? It's not for you. <laughs> It's a podcast for birds and bees. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, that's three points. Oh God, uh, Sophie, we're back over to you. Are you ready for your next prompt? I am. All right, uh, here it is. 
person who time traveled from the Renaissance era visits a Renaissance fair. This seems pretty normal to me. <laughs> I'm good there. All right. <laughs> All right. I respect it. I respect it. Uh, that that alone is gonna is worth two points. So there you go. Okay, I'll take it. <laughs> take them. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's about right. <laughs> um, that was an economic if, point growth right there. It was economical. Just, just like just like home. Just like home. I, I just I I love I love the notion that, that somebody from that time period just doesn't notice anything weird. Uh, it's, a, it's a it's a very serious Renaissance fair. No, they're they're on top of things. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> Emily, we're back over to you. Are you ready for your next prompt? I am ready. All right, here we go. Newscaster reporting on news they read on Facebook once. Hi, my name is Chet, back here again with WBAV News. I'm standing here outside of the factory where the Clintons are farming babies in order to make (laughs) vaccinations. We are trying to get a report in, but apparently this is actually a local Chuck E. Cheese. But that is just the bottom of the story that we are trying to get to. Coming up next, a word from your grandfather. (laughs) (laughs) That's... That's good. That that's it's really fucking good. <laughs> um, I just want I just want to know what my grandfather has to say. <laughs> what did yeah. he have to say? <laughs> it's super weird because he's been dead for a couple of years. <laughs> yeah, that's weird. <laughs> Let the man talk. Let the um, man talk. Uh, that's that's another that's another three points. Mar, ah! are you ready for your next prompt? You scared me. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I thought I thought October was last month. Well, I'm sorry I alerted you. I'm going to need you to alert your audience that you're in danger without alerting your captor. Hey, guys, this is Marco Toto uh, back at it again. And I would love to say that I love the character design from Bug Snacks. Guys, I love the character design from Bug Snacks. And it's it's just a wonderful, wonderful every single character design that I see there. Uh, makes me smile, and I don't have an issue with any of them. Every <laughs> one of them is great. I don't need help. <laughs> uh, that's, that's that's good. I I like that. Um, I I imagine you probably are also just like a, a huge fan of their voices and how much they talk. And how much oh, they I mean say the voices names. are great. Yeah, they are great. I like the voice acting. Phenomenal. I just, I just, every time I watch someone stream, it's just, it's just like a little bit of streamer commentary and bunger, 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 bunger. (laughs) (laughs) Oh yeah. That was good. Uh, I want to give you two points for that one. Okay. For Uh, for those who are not in on the bit, Mar hates a lot of things about books. What? Openly. No way. Hmm. What the fuck? That's the joke. Just Holy to, shit! Just in case you're not familiar. Oh my god, I didn't realize. Mar. Uh, give Mar an extra point. The, I'm, One point. I'm leaning into the bit, so Mar's getting that extra point anyway. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Give me that. Give me that point. That point is <laughs> okay, but, okay, but like there were people like in the chat and in the stream that didn't know the context. Um, it is okay. Uh, Sophie, are you ready for your next prompt? I sure am. Your prompt is spelling bee word that would stump most, but not you. Your word is. Bungalow. <laughs> they think they can trick me because bungalow ends in an O sound. And typically words with an uh, end in an O sound end in either the letter O or perhaps an H after. But I'm aware that bungalow is an abnormal word in the English language ending with the letter W. <laughs> they thought they could trick me. But I have a thousand IQ. I am the victor of this spelling bee. B-U-N-J, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. That was very anime. Fucking, fucking yeah, I great. was about to say, that was extremely anime. Thank was, you. <laughs> was that light from Death Note? <laughs> Actually, yeah, that's the inspiration. <laughs> very good. Uh, that's going to get three points. Thank you. Uh, little story also, bungalow was the word that stumped me in my spelling bee in third grade. <gasps> oh no. Oh, I'm three life oh, story. This is Shit. several kinds of redemptions for you. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, Emily. We're back over to you. You ready for your last prompt of the round? I, sorry, I didn't mention these are the last prompts of the round. Are you ready? Oh, I guess I am ready for the last prompt of the round. Alrighty, uh, here it is. There are no good landlords, but this one comes close. Hi. Oh my god, I'm so happy to have you in the space. 
I'm not like one of those like strict landlords. I'm one of those like cool landlords. Like you don't have to worry about it. Like rent do whenever you don't even have to pay it to be honest. Just so I know that like you're not like sneaking people in here. Oh, you have like friends. Oh, or like like they do more than friends. Oh, that's great. I love that for you. I love that how big your group is. Um, excuse me. Uh, who's that chili for? Okay, you have to get the fuck out. <laughs> Wow, topical. Oh my god. <laughs> you did do a very good job. I'm going to give you two points for that one. Cool, 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 cool. Thank you. Mar, back to you. Are you ready for your next prompt? Mm, yeah. yeah. Alrighty, uh, here it is. Playing the longest con in history. Alright. Uh, go to uh, twitter.com slash markatoto. Uh, I am a VTuber. Uh, and I've been a VTuber for two years. The end. Wow. <laughs> the con? The con is you didn't give up. You didn't stop. You didn't undebut. <laughs> the con is that VTubers uh, are cartoons. Uh, very good. That's that's gonna that's gonna earn you two points. I like it. Good, good good bit. Good joke. That brings They've us. They've been to dodging the... taxes. <laughs> <laughs> They've been dodging all those taxes. Uh, that is gonna bring us to the end of round one. So let's take a look at our scores. Uh, right now, it's a very tight game. As as, oh. as as usually is at the end of round one with uh, Sophie and Martide for 16 and Emily in the lead with 17 points. Y'all are absolutely knocking it out of the park so far. It's um. because we're both pink. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Let's take a look at the first uh, mini act of this episode and it is called No Stupid Questions. Uh, when I was in high school, there was a poster on the wall in my science class that said, even Einstein asked questions and taking advice to heart I asked my teacher, who was Evan Einstein? And she kindly explained that Evan Einstein was Albert Einstein's brother, who was an idiot. That's why he asked so many questions. It really goes to show that the best teachers are the ones who can reliably answer any questions without judgment or contempt. Uh, so our mini act is called No Stupid Questions. Uh, players, you will all be tasked with giving an improvised lecture to the class. Your lecture doesn't need to be accurate or truthful at all, as long as you fake it well. Uh, the other two players and B will be your students. And, I need to be a part of it! Mm -hmm. And as you're instructing, I will be interrupting your lecture to allow each student to ask a single question. You then have to seamlessly answer the question and connect it to the lecture without refusing it or judging the person who asked it. Here's a little tip for the students. Uh, you might consider asking a curveball question that seems unrelated to the uh, unrelated to the topic in order to challenge the teacher and sabotage them. However, if you ask a question that fits nicely into the lecture and moves the discussion along well, you might get a bonus point. So keep that in mind when you're devising your strategy for your questions to uh, mess things up for the instructor. I am going to bring us over to uh, Sophie to begin with. Uh, you are going to be the first instructor. Okay. Uh, you are going to be a middle school teacher, and the topic is pre-algebra. Again, <laughs> none of the things you say have to be correct as long as you fake it well. All right, class. Today we're going to be look we're learning about uh, fractions and uh, their integration in mathematics. You see, when you're playing playing Fortnite and cranking sit 90s, you may be wondering, what is a 90? Well, that's part of a fraction. Now, in our algebra class, we're going to be using fractions often with our uh, with with, with uh, it, with the mathematics, because when you divide by X, X being your legendary weapon in the game, you can see that the mathematics line out, so you usually tend to get a victory royale. Now, oh, class, cool. keep in mind. Hey, uh, if Mrs. You're... Armstrong, uh, we have a mm -hmm. question from the class. Uh, oh, oh, what's your question? Yeah, it looks like it looks like Emily has a question for you. Yeah, I, I'm just kind of curious. Um, how do fractions play into a factor of whether or not you get epic loot from the drops? Oh, that's a s simple answer. So when you are gaming, uh, your computer is essentially all mathematics. And Y equals your graphics card. So when you are cranking sick 90s, if your degrees are accurate, it will do a random number generation, which drops fat loots into your lap. Now, if you buy V-Bucks, that's also math because of the money involved. Uh, if you <laughs> divide W equals five, that's your V-Buck amount to purchase uh, Gwen Stacy. Oh, oh, look, uh, we have another uh, question from one of our students. Uh, Mar, what would you like to ask uh, Mrs. Armstrong? Oh, well, my name is Mar, I'm nine years old, and what's numbers? 
Well, Mar, that's a really great question. Numbers, as we've discussed, are what computers are made of. So when you put numbers around, usually they tend to mean A or B, but sometimes it means X or Y. When you see the, <laughs> I know it's really crazy stuff. So the idea is that when you put numbers together, magic happens. It's kind of like casting a spell. So if I take 35 and 65, I get sick 90s in Fortnite. You understand? That's, that's so awesome. That's very well explained. We have uh, one more question from the class. Uh, it is from uh, B. Hey, yeah, like, um, otherwise, is like the rest of the alphabet in here or like what? Excellent question. No, it's just A, B, W, X, and Y. It's a very, uh, very ex um, complicated system. Mathematicians have been thinking about creating new letters, similar how to how the periodic table works, but it's just beyond our capabilities these days. Uh, you know, maybe one day we can get there, but that's for NASA to figure out, not us. <laughs> perfect. <laughs> that is that is a perfect place to end it. Very very well done. Thank you. Y'all have y'all have caught on to this. Bring, uh, bring this game exceptionally well. Uh, Sophie, you are going to get full marks. You're going to get three points for your lecture. Um, and Emily and Mar, <coughs> excuse me, you're both going to get a bonus point because your questions were very good. Yeah! Yay! Woo! <laughs> Even what's numbers. <laughs> I love what's numbers. I'm confused and concerned by a nine-year-old that doesn't know what numbers is, is in the middle I, school pre after I, class. I, 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 love, I love this class full of various ages. <laughs> Does B get one? Yeah, B, your, your question was also very good. I liked the I character you did, so you can you can have you can have a bonus point as well. I already won the game though, so like that is true. Then. B technically won. We're 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 honestly That's just competing true. for second here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, we are going Which to kind of negates the purpose of this being a second chances episode, huh? <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of fucked up. <laughs> second huh. place, second chances episode. <laughs> uh, Emily, you are going to be the instructor for the next lecture. Are you ready to Perfect. hear your topic? Oh, I'm born ready. Cool. Uh, this Literally time, this time, you are a college professor, and your topic is philosophy. Philosophy is the study of many things. It's the study of meaning. It's the study of studying. And you're here in college to answer questions and find questions and answers about philosophy. Like, for example, did the man who invented college go to college? I want you to ponder that for a second. Your second's over. <laughs> uh, Humanity. It, it looks like somebody uh, came up with a question during that. Um, I, it looks like it looks like Sophie has a question for you. Hi, yeah, teacher. Um, what is a man? <laughs> That's a great question, Sophie. People have been trying to figure this out for a while. Some say man is good. Some say man is bad. Some say man is a miserable pile of secrets. But before. <sighs> we can answer the question of what is a man, we have to ask ourselves, what is A? Because until we can define what A is, we will never know the next part of that sentence. Very wise words. Uh, I think we have uh, another question from the class, uh, Mar. Hi, uh, my name is ASMR, and um, I've just been wondering if, uh if you could just uh, speak up a little bit louder. Uh, I think if you could just start uh, yelling, I would very, very much appreciate it. Cause I don't know if I can quite um, hear you from all the way over here. So, okay, thank you. That is a great suggestion, ASMR. I don't know, why are you doing that to my, oh, you're tapping my ears. Okay, that is fine. I can speak louder because things are louder that means they exist in a more permanent form. When you're loud, you're more definite as more people are aware of your presence. But if a tree falls down in the forest and it's not loud enough to make a loud enough sound, then does that tree even exist? The answer is yes, but also no. Because uh, sound determines worth. Uh, I think I think uh, somebody else in the class would like you to uh, elaborate a little further on something. Uh, B, you have a question? Uh, yeah, um, how come it's philosophy and not, like, philosopher? <laughs> Excellent question, B. Excellent question. Philosophy was designed to discover the secret of what is a man. <laughs> Long ago, our philosophers already discovered what is a woman, which is why we know about philosopher. And a woman is 
anything anybody wants to be. We don't need to define it by certain terms or anything like that. It doesn't need to be that complicated. I don't know why people ask the question that much. But what is a man? It's a lot weirder. It's a lot more <laughs> in-depth. It's a lot more curious. And that's why we in the philosophy department, including me, of unknown, unstated, previously established gender are here and why you decided to study this. Very good. I liked that Amazing. a lot. Amazing. <laughs> Excellent lecture. <laughs> I feel my mind expanding from that. Mm -hmm. My brain is getting so big. I'm 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 super knowledgey now. Oh god, no, it's hemorrhaging. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Uh Emily, you are going to get full marks for your lecture. Uh that that is three points for you. Um and Sophie, I'm going to give you a bonus point for your question. Thank you. Uh and B, I'm also gonna give you a bonus point for your question. Yay. Hee <laughs> hee. I'm eating um, the scraps today. <laughs> <laughs> Take the scraps, eat them up. Yummy, yummy. Yummy, uh, yummy. Uh, don't worry, Mar. You have a you have an opportunity to catch up because you are going to be our next instructor. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, here is what I want you to do. I want you to give a lecture as an OSHA volunteer, and your topic is forklift driving. Hey, what's up? It's me, uh, Frank OSHA, and uh, I want to talk to you, solid people, all around me about. What's going on? How to how to drive here? How to drive there? But hey, listen, it's not just about driving. It's all about forklift driving. Okay, you know some people say, oh, it's just as simple as going in and out. But hey, you know what? You they don't fucking tell you about how to lift that dang forklift. You know what I mean? Hey boss. So, hey boss. I know it sounds simple, but I think we got somebody who has who has a question over here. Hey, it looks hey, like hey, hey, yeah. Who's, who's yeah. There? yeah, I think Ask that's a question, I'm reading I'm choose. reading the name tag. Uh Emily. What's your question? It's actually pronounced uh Emily, but Oh, my, I, whatever. My yeah, uh, uh Mr. Frank, if I'm allowed to call you that. I'm trying to date this girl. But I ain't forklift certified. <laughs> she ain't interested. How do I become forklift certified? That's why I'm here. All right, well, that's a great question, Emily. It, uh, 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 you know, it's just, it's so simple. In order to get forklift certified, you take your girl, you lift her up, you use those, you use those damn arms, you lift her up, up and down and all around. You bring it to your nearest OSHA man, and you sell. <laughs> you tell them, "Hey, look what I could do." And they say, "Oh shit! Okay, that's pretty good. You're certified now." So there yeah, you boss, go. That's cool oh. as hell. I can't wait to try it for myself. Uh, hey, real quick, I think somebody's got their hand up in the back. Uh, hey, wait, 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 hey, what's your name? Tell hey, me what's your hey, name. What's uh, going on over Sop, there? Sop high, what you got? Hey, it's me, Sop high. Uh, I was wondering. Uh, Mr. Frank, Mr. Osha Frank, man, uh, can this thing handle multi-fork drifting? I was just wondering, is that possible? I can't believe you would come up to my lecture, my TED talk, and you talk to me about multi-drift forklifting. Here's the thing, that's a forbidden technique in all of forklift driving, okay? Like, you can't be doing that. In, in order to do that, you gotta be level five forklift OSHA certified. And I'm not here to talk about this a beginner course, but the fact that you would come in to my TED talk and talk about uh, fucking uh, uh, multi-drift trap, whatever the heck you just said. <laughs> hey, you know what? Boom, get out of here. Go to the advanced class. You think you're smart? You think you're good? Anyways, hey, hey, I'm, gonna lift the, I'm gonna lift them out out of here. And what, we got another question? Yeah, we got, we got, we got one more. This one is from uh, B. See, that was easy. Y'all need to get better names like B here. Yeah, uh, B, what you got? Uh, yes, hello there. Um, I was just wondering, is it a requirement for one to be from New York in order to participate in this <laughs> driving? Now that's the beautiful thing about forklift driving. It doesn't matter where you're from. If you're from New York, if you're from New Jersey, if you're from Toronto, you're fucking from Vancouver, British, whatever the fuck, French. <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't matter. Forklifts are for everybody. It's for you. It's for me. It's for the guy up in the chair. It's for the guy down there. But you know what? Here's the thing. <laughs> 
It's just beautiful because at the end of the day, we just behind the wheel. We just be forklifting. And you know what? I drop it a fucking mic. <laughs> Excellent. Now we're all certified. Everyone in the chat has become certified. <laughs> Congratulations. I want to dock a point because uh, part of the exercise was that uh, you're not you're supposed to like treat all questions in good faith and not judge the person who asked them. But also that was like really fucking funny and uh, well, and I like the character you created for it. So I'm going to just say you get the three points anyway. Um, <laughs> and uh, Sophie and Emily are also going to get uh, one bonus point for your questions, and also B. And B's even B. And even B. And you're B. backing it up right now. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh god, I have this problem. I've stacked up all of my points, but I forgot that I stacked them like they're all making a row now. They just all disappeared. Oh, oh god. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I forgot to. I stacked them up Tetris wise again. Oh, hold on. We can just control Z. Oh, thank you. Uh, let's take a look at our scores before we go into round two. Uh, we have Sophie with 21 points, Emily with 22 points, and Mar with 20. So it is still very much anyone's game going into our second round. And our second round, as always, is act co-optly. It is pretty much the same as what we've done before, uh, except you will be acting things out in pairs. Uh, and you will be each be earning uh, one to three points based on your performance. And there is no time limit for this one. It's pretty self-explanatory, and y'all have been on the show before, so I imagine this this probably comes very naturally to you, so I don't feel like I need to even explain further. So let's just jump right in. Let's jump right into it. Oh, nope, that timer. I just said there was no timer. Fuck off, timer. Which That's so rude. <laughs> That's so rude. <laughs> Ti timer's really problems? getting pushy in this one, huh? So rude. We might have to replace timer in season two. Yeah, yeah. We, might, you know, we might have to. <laughs> uh, this first prompt is for Sophie and Emily. Are you ready to receive it? Yes. Yeah. Here you go. Uh, I want you to give me a movie scene that you can't possibly glean context from if you're just tuning in. Hey, I'm back. What I miss? Not much. You know how she is. What? Who? Wait, sh who's she? Wait, who is, who is, is this new char character? I don't. I, I was gone for five minutes. What happened? This I don't recognize any of these people. Oh, uh, where's Chris Pratt's character? What? What? Wait, hang on. What's going on? Did they? Did I, they get the? Did frankly, they get the MacGuffin? Like I cannot believe that you have done this. I know, but I'm so sorry. After what happened last time, I swear it wasn't going to happen again. Yeah, you better not <laughs> let it happen again. Wait, I think we're taking this in different direction. Do you want to? No, I, I like this. I like this. Keep going. <laughs> okay. Well, just to just to clarify, I want the scene to keep going this way, where Emily is is the movie scene, and Sophie is just okay. reacting to it. <laughs> All right, bring reboot. I don't, I don't. Hang on, but come what? on, we have to continue the adventure. Mickey Mouse. You're is right, in there Squanchy. Now. I thought this was an X-Men movie. You're my oldest friend, and I'm so happy we reunited, even Didn't if it is under these circumstances. What Darling, I don't want Squanchy around. Not after what happened last time. I said I was sorry for that. What happened last? Did I? Did my? Did my DVD player? Well, start? well, well. Look who it is. <laughs> oh, thank God! At least Pete's here. Oh, I thought Squanchy. I was Wait, lover. Pete and Squanchy are together. But, but Squanchy died. Six what are you doing times? with your ex? I swear. Boromir's here too. <laughs> Good. I'm gonna cut it off here. <laughs> that went way better than anyone could have expected. That was so good. That <laughs> was sorry so for getting briefly confused. No, no, you're all good. I, <laughs> I think that kind of added to it. No, uh, I liked it. Um, I was, <laughs> I couldn't glean context even from the bit. Um, yeah, me neither. I think, I think I'm gonna give you both three points. <laughs> Hell yeah. Because <laughs> that's this. That was magical, despite the, <laughs> despite the shortcomings. Um, this next one is for Mar and Sophie. You ready? Hi, Zolvi! Hi! Here's what I want you to give me. Uh, showcasing the new Lush X Half-Life products to a customer. Hi there! Can I get you anything? Do you want to take a look at our new product line that we have up? Yeah, uh, I'm so, so, I'm so full of dirt. There's so much dirt on me and I we need have something. The perfect, we have the perfect thing for that. We're actually partnering okay. with Valve currently for a Half-Life themed product. Now this right here is the barnacle. Oh. Now you see this little tongue on the end, it will take <laughs> its, uh, it'll take its mm. tongue and it'll put it on your pores and actually suck out the, uh, the, the gunk and the dirt that you're talking about. It's I, really I mean, that good. Looks that looks great, but I'm looking for something a little more uh, that could attach to maybe my face a little bit. If Your they could face. just 
you're not going to believe this. We have the perfect thing. Right over here, this is the head crab. Now, we actually found this. It's an indigenous species uh, in a different dimension, but uh. we managed to get the rights to it. Uh, if you place it on your head, what it'll end up doing is it'll actually take over your body and uh, operate on its own. Uh, it'll, be, it'll open up your stomach. You'll be able to just shove food in there. Very convenient and yeah, see, so, okay. so great. <sighs> For your See, okay, so I that's not really it. what I was looking for. Maybe, no? uh, maybe, cause, uh, maybe I had a, a, the wrong idea. If I could maybe just get like a crystal of some sort, I could maybe push it into some some kind of beam. They could help uh, alleviate some of the pain that's like happening on my skin a little mm -hmm. bit. We don't have crystals, unfortunately. Mm. It's not a beauty product, but we do have beams. We've actually got uh, a little bit of a condensed. Uh, what is, what this is? It's green electricity. And uh, it, it, it is a teleportation uh, uh, energy, and it moves things from place to place. So what we can do is we can actually electrocute sorry, you with this. I'm sorry, is something the matter here? <laughs> Oh, oh, I'm sorry, uh, sir, boss. Uh, I, I, I'm just, I'm just trying to sell the products, hello, just like you said. Hello, it, hello, customer. I am the G manager, and <laughs> is there an issue? Yeah, I, um, you know, I was, I was just hoping if, if I could cause a resonance cascade. Yeah, no, I don't think that's going to happen. But... You're gonna want to go to Bath and Body Works for that, for sure. Yes, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's you're that's going... perfect. I'm gonna cut it off there. <laughs> I, I I liked that a lot. I also enjoy the idea of G-Man saying, yeah, no, <laughs> in reply to something. Yeah. <laughs> um, and, and it's not considered, a, you know, one of one of Lush's big things is that they don't test on animals and it doesn't count if the animals are the products. So exactly. <laughs> uh, that's good. I'm going to give you both three points. That was very well acted. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Um, this next one is for Mar and Emily. Are you ready Hello. for it? Hi, Emily, I'm in a square. <laughs> oh my God, I mean too. <laughs> Sony, get them out of there. <laughs> I think the only way out is to act. Okay, oh, promptly. Good, I good idea. And in fact, uh, at least one of you is going to be an actor in this one. Uh, I, need I need an actor starring in a 2000s era Newgrounds animation <laughs> who needs some performance direction. I'm fine being the director. You want to be I'm here? fine being the actor. <laughs> All right. I mean, I mean, look at me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Ninja Bread, uh, we're gonna need to go ahead and do a cake of this. So uh, just for a little bit of a reminder of what this scene is. So at this point, you are playing uh, Cactar, but made of bread, bread tar, uh, and you are going to buy uh, laundry soap. Okay, okay, but okay, but here's here's my problem: is that when do I tween into the scene? It, like, do I do I just sort of slide in, or do you want me to do kind of a, an ease in? Like, how would you want me to to enter in that way? We still have our animator working for it. Unfortunately, uh, he's still uh, in his pre-algebra class, so <laughs> he oh. hasn't gotten to that point yet. But he's going to, I believe, it's not going to be a slide, but kind of like a little bit of a bounce up and down, like a doot 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 sort of thing. So kind of okay, bring me okay. a little bit of a doot 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 sort of energy to bread tar, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's totally fine. I think uh, what's really throwing me off is that um, there, the background is just kind of a. Uh... It's just kind of a, a picture that kind of got vectored uh, a little bit, and I, I don't think that's quite as. It's a grocery store. I don't know what you're you're having a problem with. Right, it's a right, store. right. But like you know, now I guess like I guess my real question is, uh, is this going to be in a nutshell, or is this kind of a? a I, sort I, of... I'm, I'm I'm afraid I don't understand the question. It, it's not a nutshell. He's made of bread, not not nuts. So okay, okay. So you don't, uh, so you don't do, want the high pitched voice. You don't want me to speak really really fast. I, I need you to talk the way that you would imagine a, a, a bread that's shaped like a cactar from Final Fantasy uh, would talk. Mm, uh, okay. Wait, which so, is an RPG uh, that that is for you and for me, right? Right, right, right. F Final course. Fantasy is an RPG. Yeah. That, that... <laughs> Very good. I'm okay. going to cut it off there. <laughs> I liked that a lot. I was a part of this era. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I... I enjoyed that a lot. I want to give, I'm gonna give you both two points for that one. Two. Two. Uh, let's move over to Sophie and Emily for this next one. Are you ready for okay. your next prompt? Absolutely. Yeah, sure. All right, here is your prompt. Two preachers preaching the same religion, but they hate each other and jab at one another while preaching. 
the love of God pierces our souls and he loves you. Yes, you, I am talking to you. And he loves you so much more than some others may say because he is everything. Yes, God is everything. The good, unfortunately the bad as well. But that is the beauty of God, is learning to appreciate his presence, even in places you might not like, because you just don't. (laughs) I've been hearing some strange things in the religiosphere lately. Now I would like to remind all of you that your, your faith is utmost of utmost importance and God would never fail you for everything he does is in his plan. He has no flaws, but you have flaws and you are a failure and a wimp, but not to him. Yes, you may be a failure at a lot of things. Everything you attempt at really from your work to your home life to your practicing of God. But what matters is not that you fail. What matters is how you rise from it and execute the thing that you're trying to execute here. This is a, a matter of love. This is a matter of respect. And it's important that you love yourself the way that you love your neighbors, the ones that you actually love. Fear! <laughs> That's right, you should fear God! For he is all-knowing, and he knows all, especially when you are speaking to a crowd of impressionable youths. He he knows the mistakes you've made, the mistakes you've made in perhaps your love life. He sees all and he judges, but your faith in him will save you. Unlike... (laughs) Unlike your loans that you have been not paying off. Yes, he knows the moments where you mess up. Like when you misspeak or when you stumble over words and start giggling over your sermon. He knows that and he loves you anyway. He loves you even when you get things wrong. Such as when you're aggressive and mean and yelly. When instead you could be here as one, as a community. Gentle, natured, good. You could have an acoustic guitar behind you instead of a choir. <laughs> this is good. But I'm you gonna, don't. I, I have to cut it off somewhere, so I'm just going to cut it here. <laughs> this is a uh, cut. <laughs> fucking incredible. Um, I, <laughs> Sophie, I was I was especially impressed by 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 yours, all the all the shade and all and the the character voice that you did. Uh, this is the second time I've done that preacher character voice on this show. Yeah, it's so go- it's so <laughs> Same good. preacher. Yeah, exactly. It works every time. Uh. T- Let's see. I'm going to give you three points, and I'm going to give Emily two points for this one. Okay. Cool. Well done. Well done. This next one is for Mar and Sophie. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's too many prompts. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope you're ready for it anyway. Uh, here, here it is. Veterinarian who has only studied snails. Hey, come on in. What seems to be the problem? Hi, I, there's something wrong. There's something wrong with my little, my little, my little goo goo. My I, little goo goo. Bring them yeah. out. Let me see. Let me see them. Okay, here you go. It's goo goo. Oh. oh, it's um, it's a cat. Gotcha. Okay, well, yeah, let's just take a look here. Uh, what's, what's wrong with goo goo? What's been happening? Uh, goo goo's been <laughs> just been lying there alive. Makes me so sad, and they're not doing anything. No, well, actually. Uh, in my professional experience, most pets tend to pretty much just sit there and not do a ton. Um, <laughs> but maybe bit... they're not even eating. Goo Goo's not eating. Goo Goo's not eating. Well, pets tend to, uh, they eat, very, It's very. they're very small creatures, right? We can't quite see their operations of their mouths. Um, I mean, yours is a little, I mean, it's a a little larger it's than I'm used big to. Mouth. It's, it's... <laughs> He's okay, cat. Cat's got a little big mouth. He's not eating food or nothing. I am noticing that he's very dry, which is worrying. I, 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 most pets that come in here tend to be a lot more viscous, and this is should, a little worrying. Should Gugu be wet? Gugu should be a lot more wet. I'm thinking. I'm gonna go ahead and prescribe a bucket Uh-oh. of slime. 
that I suggest you uh, you you make sure you coat them in slime once a week, and make sure to keep anything salty away when you're no salt in the foods. I don't know if goo goo should be wet. I've heard cats <laughs> should be wet most times. Now I have a significant amount of experience in veterinary in the veterinary world with pets, and oh. I, in all of my experience, have seen them. Loving being wet. I'm telling you, you're gonna want to take this slime. It's only gonna be six hundred dollars for the Okay, bucket. okay. Well, if Google's gotta be wet, then that's mm -hmm. the doctor's orders. Now here, I'm gonna show you how to apply the goop. We're just gonna take a handful of it and just go ahead and wipe it right over Goo Goo. Oh no! Oh no, Goo Goo! No! Goo Goo! Stop! Oh. This is really good. I'm gonna cut it here. Uh, oh my God! Uh, you're both gonna get three points because uh, Sophie, you 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 got the uh, you got the prompt down pat, and Mar, you you fed some like incredible lines for Sophie to work with, and also uh, created a really compelling character, not only in yourself but Goo Goo. I love Goo Goo. <laughs> I love Goo Goo. Uh, I love that Mar defaulted to the New Yorker again. I didn't. I didn't mean to. It's, it was. It just it was kind of started coming just... out. It was it's, supposed to be really whiny, and then it just came out it's again. It's actually just Frank Osha again. <laughs> it's just Frank Osha. You know Frank, Frank Osha's Osha's allowed to have pets. Yeah. <laughs> hey, it's Frank. Uh, give me some. I love my kitty cat. What's up with that? What's up with that? <laughs> that was really. Goo is short for Gaba Goo Goo. Gaba Goo Goo. <laughs> Incredible. Uh, let's move on to uh, Emily and Mar for this next one. Here yeah, is yeah. your next prompt. A hot dog. And a hot dog bun. Have an awkward first date. Oh my god. I, I've seen the Seth Rogen movie. Well, if you reference the movie, you're going to lose points. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Oh, uh, good. Good, good. Um, do, do you, I'm, I'm sorry, are we, are we gonna hug? I mean, you already have, you have ketchup I, on you already. Yeah, yeah, I, I know. I, I, I thought it would. I thought it would be uh, nice to have, but I mean, there's no like, expectation or anything like that. So oh, I mean, uh, you don't you don't mind if I don't hug you? I just I've never had anything yeah, yeah. between yeah, there yeah, beforehand, yeah. That's, so that's they're totally, still pretty. They're still dry. Totally is uh, is there is there any place you wanna you wanna head off to for for dinner or? Oh God, I mean, there's the roller is pretty good. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. The toaster, uh, um, the microwave is obviously like a classic. See, I was I was thinking we could go to the refrigerator, maybe. Oh, gross! No, I, um, I, mm. I mean, I guess we can go to the fridge, like if that's what you think. Okay. But I mean, I did just come out like the toaster, so it's like I'm, you know, I, I got out of the toaster I, and I buttered uh, myself. You know, well, like, we totally, can go back I, in the fridge. I, like, if we, I, to if I want... totally get it's it's a comfortable, it's a it's a great place. You know, it's just it's just not where I want to go heat myself. You know what I mean? I'm more of a I'm more of a pan kind of guy, you know. Uh, so, oh, so I mean, we can go to a, a pan. Are we going to a pan or the the fridge? I'm fine either way. I, you know what? Let's let's just let's just head over. Let's just head over to the oven. How's how's that? I think that's I think that's a good. Yeah, yeah, I like the oven. I I I, right. I I know some people there, so we can probably get a yeah, good yeah, table, yeah, yeah. Okay. like on the so, first or second rack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, all right. Well. So um, do you um, have you done this like often? Like, have you like. Yeah, no, I, uh, I, I, I've, I try, I try dating a lot, like, uh, you know, like, uh, uh, uh Italian bread, I've, I've tried, uh, there's, um, uh, the boy, the uh, rye, you know, um, oh, right, right, but, it, it, you know, it just, you know, it's not really my cup of tea, I guess, you, you know. Oh, well, I, yeah, I, I'm glad you, you, you chose me, like, um. Yeah, yeah, I, th I think it's it's cool. It's, it's fine. Yeah, no, it's so hard, like, being, uh, you know, store brand white bread hot dog bun, you yeah, know, I, all these apps, like, they don't do well, like, uh, cooker I'm gonna, and... I'm going to cut you off there, uh, because I can't Sorry, my take, name is Frank. I can't take it anymore. Oh, that's so good. That's so good. <laughs> Frank, like a hot dog. Oh, my God. Like a hot dog. Very good. Uh, I liked it. You're both going to get three points uh, because you, you nailed... <laughs> making... For making it as awkward as fucking possible. Like, like I was second guessing myself when it when it came to what time to cut it off because I had convinced myself that I was cutting it off too early because I was uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't sure how long it was going. Quite frankly, I was just so enraptured in the in the character of the date. I bet, the I date want, right? I bet you said that on the date too. <laughs> I wanted I wanted to to at one point just be like. 
Hot dogs for damn! Get the. Sh <laughs> How uh, dare you! Good shit. Good shit. Uh, we are on to our last uh, prompts of the round. Uh, this next one is for Sophie and Emily. Here is your last prompt of the round. Trying to convince a werewolf that the moon isn't actually real. It's a government conspiracy. I'm telling you. <laughs> You're fucking with me. No, I'm. T it's. It is just a lamp. It's just a lamp. Like there. There. Have you not been to? Have you not checked the internet? It's. Uh, there's so much. Uh, uh, there's so much evidence. Why, for no. example, why does it glow? Why does it glow? It's apparently just a big rock. Rocks don't glow. I don't know. I mean, like, the glow is, like, really pretty. And so, like, but that is a good point. I've never it's seen rocks, like, pretty. glow before. It's, it's just a lamp. You can go, you've got one near your house. No, you're, you're, you've fallen. You've got, yeah. Have you been, have you been drinking the water? You've been drinking the water. No, I, I, uh, I only drink, uh, uh, beer and blood, the two bees, you know? Beer and what, sorry? <laughs> beer and blood. The two bees. You really are on the government watch. You're you're a you're a government <laughs> snake, aren't you? You're no, a man. <laughs> ah, snake. I wish I was a snake. I knew a were snake. They just uh, they get it off easy. They just lose their arms. They just slide around for a few hours to get done at the end of the day. You know. <laughs> you just you just fall for everything you're told. It's just like birds. Everybody thinks the moon's real. Everybody thinks it's a giant rock in the sky. It just doesn't make any sense. Wait, I ate a bird once, and I had like a bone stuck in my teeth. Was that not a real bone? Was that like? <laughs> you you pleb. That was a stick of ram. <laughs> They're drones. Oh my gosh. Yeah. You might be yeah. right because I ate a ram and the ram had that in it too. Exactly. Now you're getting it. Now you understand that the moon's not there. Like really, so, what do you what do you believe? What makes you think so much that the moon's real? Like what 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 evidence is there? I mean, there's the stuff I learned in science class, but science class didn't cover werewolves like me, you know? <laughs> That's what the government wants you to do. Sorry, cover what? They didn't cover. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm a werewolf. I thought this was an established part of the conversation. Oh, that. Oh, yeah. No, I'm. That's yeah, that's werewolves. why I like the moon so much. And the, right, the, werewolves make the, werewolves make sense. But we're talking about the moon right now. That's crazy. Yeah, no, that's. Yeah, like, why is it so pretty? Like, you know, when you just look at the moon and you get captivated by it, like, kind of like it. how it's it the looks. Brainwashing. Right. It's the government brainwashing. Now, it's a the moon look really device. Hey. Does that moon look like a circle to you? <laughs> I don't even look at the moon anymore. No, Wait, look let's... at the moon. Does it look like a... <laughs> Does it look like a circle to you? What? No, what? Yes, I guess. What? Do you... Oh, oh fuck. what's happening? <laughs> what's? Oh, oh. whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, calm down. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Good. Logical conclusion. Appreciate that. <laughs> um, I, I, I want, I want so badly to be evil, Ellie. But I can't find problems with your acting. <laughs> I can't find the problems. So you're it's both gonna, the first, you're both all returning almost again. champions. Uh huh. <laughs> all returning champions. Yeah, you're you're both gonna get three points for that one. Epic. Uh, next one is going to be for Mara and Sophie. Are y'all ready? Uh huh. Yes. Here is your prompt, Mario from Super Mario, dying in your <laughs> arms. Oh, Mamma mia. <laughs> Oh my, oh my brother! Oh, I, I think that I think that Goomba really got to me, bro. I see what you should have had a mushroom. Oh, oh mommy, I had a full tummy. I couldn't. I couldn't have had it. You see, it, the thing is, you passed by so many of the power ups. I missed it, and I was trying to speed run the level. You see, you know see what happens when you speed run the level, Mario? I was trying to go so fast. I was uh, 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 trying to get see, the high score. It's just too much. It's too much. It's oh. the thing. It's the speed running is for cheetahs. You should have taken your time, brother. Please, you have to have a court. You have to put a court in the machine, please. You, you got one, right? I don't know if we have any more extra no, lives, well, you Mario. Gotta, you could have one. I don't have a one. I have right under the green I, mushroom. Oh, oh my brother. There's so much. Oh, there's so much I play, blood. I play the green... The green, uh, the green demon. The challenge is what you call it. I don't, I don't have a mana. You should. Uh, that's supposed to be good, Mario. I'm sorry. I don't. I don't know what to do. I so I, call it, I'm, I'm, You should have just going. played the game. Oh, oh my, my god. Oh Quick. wait, there's a one up right here. I I'm got, plugging I the got. machine. No, I can't. I'm my tummy too full. I'm plugging the machine. That's why I don't have to see it. No, I don't to want to unplug the machine. No, I'm plugging the machine. I can't handle it. I don't want you to see it. You were supposed to be Papa Mario, and I'm a Mama Luigi. <laughs> clear, the, clear the data, please. Clear the scores. I don't want to see them. Oh, come on, Mario. I know you can make it. 
I don't want to see if I have the top score or not. I don't You're my know. brother! Who else? <laughs> who else is good and end up like a meatball? I'm fading. Oh, yeah. oh. oh you see what uh, you see what you did, Bowser? Are you happy? Mushroom oh. Kingdom, here we come. <laughs> oh, he's gone, and I put my hands over his eyes, <laughs> and I guess <laughs> I <I'm> go <laughs> <laughs> solemnly. I cut you off. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's that was good. I would like literally uh, after a certain point I was like, okay, I'm not going to cut this off until either Mario dies or Luigi unplugs the machine. <laughs> <laughs> that was fucking excellent. <laughs> um I I especially appreciate that Sophie, you were video game Mario and Mar you were TV show Luigi. <laughs> I was TV show it's Luigi. It's, it's my speciality. <laughs> it's so good. Um, that, <laughs> eh, fuck, that's, that's gonna be three points for both of you. Yeah! <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. Foiled again. All right. Last prompt of the round is gonna be for Emily and for Mar. Are you ready? I am. All right. I, I, I yeah. Here you go. Uh, explaining to a kindergartner why their Marvel opinions are cringe. <laughs> oh, I, what do you- I, I, I'm watching the MCU. Oh, I wow. Just... That's so amazing. What film are you watching? I'm watching, I'm watching She-Hulk. She's awesome. Oh, sweetheart. <laughs> and she's so, she's so funny. Sweetheart. She talked to me. I think she's so cool. Sweet, sweetheart, sweetheart. Yeah? That show was so cringe. What do it's you mean? It's got the sense of humor as the original comics, but it doesn't really land the, the landing well because it's trying so hard to fit into a 12-episode format. But you do a clap and it was awesome! It made the Hulk fall down sometimes! Mar, have you heard about this thing called practical effects? No! <laughs> they used to use them all the time and they were always objectively better than CGI. What's a practical effect? Well, did you ever see Sam Raimi's Spider-Man? I saw one. I saw one. The, the, I saw Spider Man. There's three of them in the new one. Oh, Mar. <laughs> yeah, it was really watch... good. I like that's three not the Spider, Spider Man. That, that's not the movie with three Spider Man you should watch. Watch Spider Verse. That one's pretty based. I mean, that was no way home. Cool too, but... No way home I... is mindless fan service meant for five year olds. Which I mean, I guess it makes sense why you like it, sport. But. Uh -oh. <laughs> But, Into but the Spider Verse. Three Spider Man. They go yippee. Into the Spider Verse has five Spider Men, which objectively, from a numbers perspective, you remember when we went over numbers last week, Mark? One, two, three, and what's oh, yeah! better than what's better than three? Is I five see, bigger I, or smaller than three? I mean, that's pretty cool, but I like. Uh, I, just, uh, ooh, uh, I will bid. Iron Man's a fascist. That <laughs> That's perfect. I'm gonna cut you off there. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. No notes. No notes. Uh, you really fucking brought it home. Uh, three points for both of you. <laughs> uh, I got a clean sweep round. Oh hey, my god. Hey, hey, hey Mar, do you want to trade three points? Yeah, yeah, let's I, just do it. Okay, yeah, I'll take your three points. You get my three points. Oh, cool. Uh, uh, host harder. insider trading going on. <laughs> Just like Yuji Naka, my <laughs> hero! <laughs> <laughs> Yuji Naka did great on Act Promptly. Yeah, Yuji, Yuji Naka was our best guess. Uh, um, Let's spoil season two! <laughs> oh, shit, sorry. I forgot we pre-filmed season two ahead of doing season one live. <laughs> um, yeah, it's really weird that you had me on the Yuji Naka episode. I don't know what that was about. <laughs> Uh, let's take a look at our scores. Uh, right now, we've got Sophie uh, taking the lead with 39 points, uh, Emily with 38, and Mar with 37. Uh, oh my god. Scores are still very tight and everybody's doing uh, so super duper well. Uh, and we are going into our second mini act, and our second mini act is, is called, it's called the haiku one. This is, this is the haiku one, everybody. Oh, um, oh, man. One of the most popular kinds of poetry from overseas is the Japanese haiku, known for its brief and consistent structure and poignant reflections on the natural world. If you didn't know, the first line of a haiku is always five syllables, the next is seven syllables, followed by a final five-syllable line. You will be writing haiku poems as a group based on a topic I'll provide, each of you providing a single line. Afterward, B will give the haiku an overall rating as well as pick their favorite line. Uh, and just to make sure there's no bias, uh, when we do this game, 
Uh, B, you are going to be deafened and you'll have to look away. Uh, you'll have to also close the screen share um, so that uh, you can't see or hear who is providing what line. Um, and so when we present you with the finished haiku, uh, you can give it a score and pick your pick your favorite part of it. Boy. And uh, to begin, we are going to start with Emily. Now, here is our topic for the haiku. This is going to be a haiku about winter starting, which is appropriate because uh, in, in our sort of part of the world, this is kind of the start of winter. So I need you to just give me a line with five syllables. It's so fucking cold. It's so fucking cold. All right. Uh, Mar, I'm going to need you to give me the next line. Uh, it is going to be seven syllables for the second line. Yummy, yummy snow to eat. Very good. Very good. Uh, and Sophie, what is the last line? It's five syllables. A hot cocoa treat. Very good. Don't I be like... passing this one down. <laughs> <laughs> I like this. I like this one a lot. So we are going to uh, bring B back in. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and they will unmute. Three, two, one. B, what are you doing? Yes. <laughs> B, B said, should I come back now? Hello. Welcome back. Listen. Hey, listen. Here. Hey, listen. I, I thought That's I was, what we're ready means. I, was gonna, I thought I was going to take the world's quickest piss. <laughs> oh and no! Then while I'm in it the didn't work. I'm so I hear sorry. Ellie through the door say, "Okay, let's call B back." And I'm like, "Oh no!" It's all right. Uh, I, I appreciate you so much. Are you ready to hear the first haiku? Absolutely. All right. Here is the first haiku. It's so fucking cold. Yummy, yummy snow to eat. A hot cocoa treat. Okay. How would you? I how would like you? That. How would you rate this haiku on a scale of one to three? One to three. I would give that a two. Okay. Um, and which line is your favorite one? The second one for sure. Yummy, yummy snow to eat. All right. The rating is going to factor into how many points the favorite line gets. So yeah. in that case. And, and always remember kids, if the snow is white, it's all right. Yellow or green, it's just not clean. Uh, so Mar wrote that line. So Mar, you're going to get two points. Uh, that was really good. So let's get another one going. B, if you want to go ahead and deafen again. I promise I will not go to piss again. <laughs> It is okay. For this one, we are going to start with Sophie. Sophie, go ahead and uh, give us the first line of a haiku that is about a pond of frogs. Hmm. Little fat cool guy. <laughs> Little fat cool guy. We're going to go back to Mar for line number two. I need you to give me a, a seven syllable line for line two. Jumping up around all <laughs> Jumping <Dang> day. <laughs> is that? Eight? I Wait, think that's that eight? eight. So is should that eight? it just be? So what about just all day? All day. Yeah. Jumping up around all day. Okay, I like that a lot. Um, Emily, you're going to give us the last line, which is five syllables. This pond has more guys. <laughs> has more guys. <laughs> this is beautiful. True. This is this is amazing. This is incredible. Uh, I like that a lot. Um. Your comeback is what I'm putting in the chat now. I'm here. I'm back. I Hi. had my mouse hovering over the mic button, so I was here as soon as possible. <laughs> I, I appreciate that so very, very much. You want to fuck it up again. Uh, we are ready. Are you ready to hear the second haiku? Yes. Okay. Here it is. Little fat cool guy jumping up around all day. This pond has more guys. That's the best thing I've ever heard in my goddamn life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Three out of three. All right, cool. Yay! That is a Ten three out of three. Point one. Uh, what is your favorite line? The last one. The last line. That was Emily's line. So Emily, you get three Ooh. points. Nice. <laughs> nice. 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 <laughs> nice. Nice on. Nice approach. Once that score has been recorded, uh, B, you can uh, you can deafen once again. Okay. Mar, I'm gonna ask you for the first line. Or no, that's, I think that's not Mar. That's not Mar. I pressed the button, but this, but the window wasn't on the screen, so I couldn't see it. <laughs> so my apologies. Hi, I'm Mar. I didn't, I didn't have time to, to uh, correct it quickly enough. Uh, Mar. <laughs> Hi, uh, I'm Emily. Uh, <laughs> I need you to give me the first line in a haiku about a fear of heights. You know, fun fact, I actually have one of these. Yeah, so do I. <laughs> <Same>. <laughs> it's awesome. 
I am shaking your hand. I'm shaking your hand. I'm shaking your hand. But not shaking it too hard because we're on a building and that makes us nervous. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Holy fuck. So tall. <laughs> Sophie, uh, you are going to give us the middle line with seven syllables. Falling off the frickin' roof. Oh, shit. Ooh, very, very good. Uh, and Emily, what's the last one? Five syllables. Fuck. Okay. Hold on. I can do this. I can do this. I can count. Fuck. Okay. Hold on. Does work. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, yeah. I can't shoot a fuck. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> this is, this is, this is good. This is, this is really good. I like this a lot. Uh, we are going to bring B back. Hello. Hi. Welcome back. Hi. You ready to hear the next haiku? Yes. Here it is. Holy fuck, so tall. Falling off the frickin' roof. Fuck, okay, hold on. <laughs> that's, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. How would you, um, how would you gonna, rate it overall? That's a that's a two out of three. It's pretty good. That's a two-pointer. Uh, and which line is your favorite? I'm gonna have to go with the first one. Holy fuck, so tall. Yeah. Very good. That was it up real nice. That was Mar. <laughs> that was- that That's was, me! So, Mar, you get two points. Two. Uh, B, if you wouldn't mind, uh, deafening once again. Goodbye again. Goodbye again. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. What we're going to do is we are going to start with Sophie this time. Uh, Sophie, I want you to give me a five-syllable first line for a haiku about procrastinating. <laughs> oh. Been there. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, give me a sec. Yeah, no, you're oh. fine. I'm no, you still out. have extra time to, to think of one if you don't want to think of one right now. You can probably do something else. <laughs> There's no timer for this one. <laughs> Gotta make my shit. All right, very good. Next, we're going to have uh, Emily do the second line, which is seven syllables. But the bed looks so cozy. Very nice, very nice. Uh, and Mar, I'm going to need you for the last line of five syllables. Z, 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 Z. Oh, God, that's good. <laughs> uh, I will summon B. Yes, hello, I am here. Welcome hello. back. Welcome back. Hello. Are you ready to hear uh, the next haiku? Give me your poetic wisdoms. Here it is. Gotta make my shit, but the bed looks so cozy. Z, 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 Z. <laughs> <laughs> that's <laughs> extremely well done. That's three out of three. Hell yes. Uh, what's, what's the, what's the best line? Which line do you like? That last line, I, I, in, in, uh, although I have been hesitant to always, like, you know, because we talked about this ahead of time, like, the last line is going to be the clincher for the poem, so, like, it's going to have a little bit more weight to it anyway, but the, just all the Z's is really good. Mm-hmm. Uh, that was Mar. <laughs> so, Mar, you're going to get three more points. <laughs> Hang on, Mar, you're from Canada, aren't you? What's that? You're from Canada, right? <laughs> I I sure am. So those should have been Zed. I tricked you. <laughs> you tricked me. Mm -hmm. It was identity. Wow. Hiding identity. If I was trying hide to hide my identity. If, you, if, if I had said Zed, you would have known it might have been me or Sophie. But well, it was if, me. If, if two out of time. three of us are Canadian. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I, I work with someone named Sarah Zed. True. <laughs> That's true. It could have been a, a yeah. There's a lot of Zed bias happening here. So there's a lot of there's Zed a heads. Lot of, a lot of Zed heads. A lot of Zed, Zed heads. heads. I like that. <laughs> Hashtag Zed heads. Get it Dude, trending. Welcome to the Zed head episode. <laughs> <laughs> what up, my Zed heads? What up, Zed heads? Uh, um, that, I'm sorry, how many points did I even give that? Was that three? Yeah, that was, was three, three. Three more points to Mar. This is the one that's okay. really going to like shake up the scores. <laughs> oh, absolutely. It, it has already begun. Mm hmm. Um. So we have two more haikus to do. Uh, B, would okay. you mind deafening for the next one? Yeah, okay, I'll leave. Okay, bye. For this next one, uh, we're going to start with Emily. Emily, I need you to give me the first line in a haiku about the joy of finally being alone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank fuck, they're gone. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Um, Sophie, I want you to give me the second line of seven okay. syllables. I can finally play games. Very good. And Mar, what's the last line? Pokemon, yippee! Very, very good. I like this one a lot. This is, uh, this is, this is, this is a treasure. This is a treasure. And you know what? Y'all are treasures too. Appreciate you. So ya. are you. Aw. Uh, let's bring B back. Uh, come on back. 
I, I love Hello. VC text. Just, come back, come back. Come I was back. just going to make come a comment back. about that. I was like, wow, Ellie's like begging come in here, back. huh? Back. Yeah, this... <laughs> please, please come back. Text to my ex. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. God, I should call her. <laughs> uh, B, are you ready to hear this haiku? No. Okay. Just try. Okay, I'm back. What's up? Go ahead. All right. Uh, here it is. Oh, thank fuck they're gone. I can finally play games. Pokemon. Yippee. That first line hits pretty deep when y'all keep kicking me out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. That was teasing. <laughs> what was the prompt? Does the prompt make a difference? Um, I, I, I'm i going to say you don't get to see the prompt because I feel oh. like it's more interesting if you have to infer the meaning from the poem itself. I would have to agree. Yeah, I'm going to give this one a two because I, I can't get the full context. I get that, like, all you want to do is play Pokemon, but. It's fair enough. Uh, I'm gonna so give that two or three. Yeah. Uh, and which line was your favorite? Mm, that's a tough one. I'm torn between the first and the last line. I like thank fuck a lot, but also yippee is very funny. Uh, I'm going with the first one. All right. Uh, that first line was from Emily. So Emily, Ooh. you get, uh, what was that? Three? Two, high, point. two points. Two. I forgot. <laughs> yippee. I did it too. Yippee. <laughs> Uh, that was that was very very good. We have one more haiku to do. Uh, so Once the... more into the void. Welcome. Get it in there. Welcome to the <laughs> void. We are going to start with Mar. That's me. Mar, I want you to give me the first line in a haiku about thirsting over someone you met at the grocery store. <laughs> <laughs> Bite my lip tight. Ooh. Okay, Lynn Manuel. <laughs> <laughs> yup. It's yep. exactly, exactly what I was thinking of. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Emily, I need you to give us the second line of seven syllables. Wow, this hot bitch at Whole Foods. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. <laughs> uh, and Sophie, what is going to be the last line? The kicker. Gotta sniff their ass. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> Oh no! Oh yeah, dude. <laughs> there we go. Got it. Got it. Got to sniff their ass. We base uh, this all off of experience, right? <laughs> Duke is going fucking in hell right now. <laughs> I heard Ellie like, cracking up in the next room, so I'm looking forward to this one. Uh, yeah, it's 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 about to be it's about to be uh, real real special. Um, Hit me with it. Here it is. Here is here is our final haiku. I bite my lip tight. Wow, this hot bitch at Whole Foods. Gotta sniff their ass. Oh my god! <laughs> okay, well, I know that last line was probably Mar. Well, then again, any one of you guys could probably come up with that one. Yeah, we're all ass snitchers. <laughs> You're all ass snitchers. Last one. Go ahead. Um, I'm gonna say it's a three out of three haiku. That's fucking baller. Hell yeah. I'm gonna take the jump. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the risk and I'm gonna say the second line. That is three points to Emily. <laughs> Ooh. That was that was uh, really really good. Uh, what... The last line was Sophie that time. Yeah, that was me. <laughs> oh, Sophie, I'm sorry. I should have trusted. <laughs> oh no, that was a lot of fun though. I I enjoyed I enjoyed that mini game a lot. I imagine that one will probably return in some form. <laughs> That's that is genuinely one of the most fun ones. It's so good. <laughs> very very good. Uh, let's take a quick little look see at our scores. Uh, that I'm really gonna... shook things up. Yeah, what's up? It absolutely did. I am going to give Sophie a, an apology point. <laughs> I think an I apology didn't point. her for any of those. I got no haikus. Uh, that brings Emily into the lead with 46, uh, Mar with 44, and Sophie uh, with 40 points. However, uh, we have one more round of the game to do. Uh, but before we do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put up the Who's Killing It poll, which uh, our regular viewers uh, know is the poll that you can, where you can give somebody some some extra funny little bonus points. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna post that. That's gonna run for about five minutes or so. So if you want to, uh, commend somebody for their, uh, performance or, you know, help them, help them get a little bit of a, little bit of an extra edge on the competition, this is, this is the way to do that. Uh, but right now we are going to go to our final round, which is 
act ensemble Act out the prompt all together to earn one to three points each, and there is no time limit. It's just like round two, except all three of you are going to be doing stuff together. Prepare for yeah. chaos. Prepare for absolute chaos. Uh, are y'all ready to receive the first prompt of the final round? Yeah. Ready to receive. All right. Okay. Here it is. The Incredibles family vlogging channel. Uh, what's up, everybody? It's me, Dash, back at it again. And, then, you know, we're going to go ahead and do a couple of little uh, family pranks. You know, I got the bucket on top of the uh, on top of the, 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 the door, and it's, it's going to hit uh, Violet. Uh, all right, ready to go. Here we go. Uh, hey, Dash, what's going on? Oh, oh, oh. That's my invisibility sound. Dash. You're always doing this. You're always. Do you have your? Do you have your phone? Are you Dash. making TikToks again, Dash? Yeah, that's right. You just got pranked. Kids, kids, what are y'all doing? I hate this da family. I'm, I'm, I'm finally fi fi come back here, Dash. Why are you speaking in that New York accent again? <laughs> you don't have to put that on for the camera, sweetie. They'll love you how how you are. I'm Mom, OSHA certified, Mom. I'm OSHA certified. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, when you get OSHA certified, you're able to do a New York accent, okay? Ash, how many times do we have to tell you this? We're not friends with OSHA. They were the ones keeping us from operating as you're a- You're so fake, Dash. None of your fans even like you for you. What are you Violet, talking about? there's no need to get hostile here. Dash, are everybody, you still, everybody are you still streaming this? Everybody subscribes to me on YouTube. Everybody loves Dash, all stop my streaming this. Violet, can you take Jack-Jack out of the room? Whatever. Don't you whatever me. Listen. I've got tier three. They're all loving the content. If you want to be part of the vlogs, mom, you could, but I don't I want mean, to be part of just a... not. Dash, we're you're supposed just, to be keeping our identities secret. Up. New prank. <laughs> identities. <laughs> That's good. That's good. I'll cut it off there. <laughs> uh, I, I enjoyed that quite a bit. I think I want to give Sophie and Mar three points. Uh, and Emily, I want to give you two. Hey, I, I've never actually engaged with uh, family vlogging channel content, so I have no frame of reference for how realistic or on point <laughs> any of this is. Uh, but I thought it was it's... funny. The only part missing is using the kids for clout and not letting them have regular lives. Right. Yup. <laughs> Isn't that up. already the plot of Incredibles 2? D <laughs> True. Yeah. Very, very good. Uh, let's move on to, uh, to the next prompt of the round. The next prompt of the round is uh, hiring staff, relaxing at the bar, sharing stories of the wildest resumes they've seen. All right, okay. all right. Can I tell you this this thing that happened to me? Because it's so uh, wild. Great, right, so right, tell us, wild. yeah, what's up, what's up? So, okay, we're taking applications for a contracting job that's here in the area, right? You know, right. Valley View Mall, they're finally building it up again. So I'm hiring people, I'm getting applications in, and it's weird, I get this application for someone that says he's forklift certified. And I'm like, that's weird. This is a job for the bulldozer. I don't care about the forklifts. We're not using forklifts on this job. So I look into the resume of this Mr. Frank Osha. Turns out this isn't even like an adult. This is like a kid, like some fucking eleven-year-old. Wait, I look really? up his Facebook. What? Yeah, his they're name's not a like... legal age to drive a forklift or yeah, to get like, a job. I, I, well, I think he's lying I... about it. Like I think his name's like Dash or something. I read the last okay, name. But okay, okay, like, yeah. yeah. I take that. I raise you. I once got a resume. And all it said on it was, hire me, my meat huge. We didn't take them, though, because we already had somebody else for the butcher shop. <laughs> wait, how, See, how, <laughs> wait, how huge was the meat? I don't know. They didn't draw a picture. Well, they did, actually, but I, I don't want to describe it. See, that's that's <laughs> crazy. But you talk about pictures. I got a resume that was entirely made out of clip art, which is crazy because uh, the company I work at, Adobe, was like, yeah, bring them on in. Yeah, they sound great. And I'm just like... Wait. Really? Oh, I mean, okay, sure. Yeah, like, like, not? hold on. Like, was this like what type of clip art? Are we talking about like Windows ninety five? Are we talking about like the the, the XP version? Are we talking yeah, about? Yeah, it, it was it was like ninety five, a little bit of XP here and there. Wow. Like, I think, I th wow. The, one of the craziest things is that they put on one of them and it had the checkered in the background. So it's like, you really want to get this guy in? Okay, that's really I good. Mean, I, I, I like this. I like all of your stories. So I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, cut it off here <laughs> since there's this, since there's a good lull and a good cutoff point for it. Um, for that one, I want to give Sophie and Emily three points and two points for Mar. Okay. 
because the because okay. I, I as much as I love the idea of uh, a, a resume full of clip art, uh, I was I was fully like even even when writing this, I was like somebody's gonna make a joke about like including uh, Microsoft assets or like a weird font choice or something like that. Um, oh yeah, I want the easy route. It was you know it, it's a good reliable route. It is still very funny. <laughs> Let's go to the last prompt of the round, the grand finale. Are y'all ready for it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, who? <clears throat> okay. The sounds everyone at the rave is making when you filter out the sounds of the music in post. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's, uh, uh, it's, 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 Hey, has anyone seen my phone? I dropped it. <laughs> my phone. My, my glasses. I can't see without my glasses. <laughs> my back. Should we go to the bar? <laughs> I said, should we go to the bar? <laughs> That's my feet. <laughs> I'm so drunk. <laughs> hey man, are you okay? You can take the cup. I'm drunk. I can't. I can't get up because I got so many drinks in me. Oh, I mean, oh, over here. oh my God! There's a guy here. Oh my God! <laughs> hey, you like, what the hell is a guy not... here? <laughs> oh my God! Hey! Oh my God! I found this phone. Do you know whose it is? <laughs> I think I think somebody dropped it. Oh hey, my God! Me, you are ready to party. Hey! hey, hey Don't you get out of here! You're not of oh age. Get out! Oh, shit, they got Dad, me. How's it going? You're underage, get out, Frank. Oh, hey, no, he's the most right, young I've you. seen his ID. That's Yo, good. Yo, he's so fast. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> I I like that. I like the continuity. I like the sounds, and I like the uh, I, I like that you did exactly what I wanted uh, y'all to do with it, and just be like unabashed about the sounds you make when there's a lot of music to cover whatever fucking noises. <laughs> um, that was really really good um immersive very immersive very good immersive experience uh f fuck it three points for everyone for that one Woohoo! that's a that's a three points all around baby um and in addition to uh those three points guess who gets an additional three points because of our funny little uh chat poll it's B! It's B, right? I wasn't an option. Of unfortunately. Uh, but no, actually, Sophie, it's you! You won the You won the, you won the you won the, so much. the Oh my god, I got the bonus star! Yeah, you got, got the, the mini games! <laughs> you got the bonus stars. You got the who's killing it poll. Uh it's... because chat thinks you're killing it. So let's let's take a look at our scores. Uh we have <laughs> Sophie and Nar <laughs> tied with 52 <laughs> points. But Emily takes the lead with 54 points. Uh, making Lady Emily our winner today. Do I do I give an acceptance speech? Is this like I don't I don't forget if like is there a thing? You well, can, now you get to break my dishwasher. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now you oh my have God. to break the dishwasher. I implore you, Ellie. Mm -hmm. Can we make Mar and Sophie do the tiebreaker? For second place. <laughs> Are, do we, do you both consent to this idea? I do. Yes. Alrighty. Uh, so yeah, our tiebreaker is the question game. The duo can only ask questions. Uh, they can't take more than three seconds to come up with a question to ask. They can't say things that aren't questions. And they can't repeat something that's already been asked during the tiebreaker. Uh, and Emily, who gets to go first? I think it's only fair that Mar goes first. <laughs> okay. okay. Alrighty, no, I agree. Mar, you have to ask the first question. Okay. Have you ever wanted to change your fate? <laughs> well, have you? I've never wa Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> oh my Woo! god. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm done. I'm done. I'm becoming this now. <laughs> this is Mar 3.0. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> 
<laughs> the official reveal. Uh, that means Sophie gets a bonus point. Uh, so, so Sophie, you can you can officially say you got you got second place at second awesome. chances. Uh, but and y'all did. Mar, Mar gets the gold medal for being the worst at the question game. <laughs> <laughs> Mar, we appreciate you so much. You always put on such a good show, and I I don't I don't invite people onto this show who are bad at it. So like, just even even though the question game seems to be your downfall, know that like we've had a marvelous time and everybody in chat fucking loves what you do. I see you what do. you did there. A marvelous time. <laughs> <laughs> never mind, never mind. I never, take it all back. You know? Never mind. Oh my god. Uh, thank you everybody uh, for being on the show today. Uh, congratulations to to Emily for your victory. Um, and I want to take an opportunity here to uh, announce something for the chat. Uh, this debut season of Act Promptly uh, will be coming to a close pretty soon, but we intend to go out with a bang. Uh, Emily will not only be winning uh, the throne money prize, uh, as we announced at the beginning of the show, but we'll also move on to our winner's bracket in order to compete alongside our other episode victors in a tournament of champions, uh, competing Yay! in some new and returning improv games for charity, and to compete for the title of the first ever Act Promptly Grand Champion. So that's going to be super cool. The next episode is going to be the first uh, of that arc. And I hope you're looking forward to it as much as I am, because I'm sure it is going to be a blast. Uh, before we go, I want to uh, give a shout out to Katie Dids, who made the uh, talk sprite artwork for B and I. Uh, Katie we Dids, love you, Katie. We love you, Katie. Uh, always, always does such good art. Uh, check her out on, on Twitter and Twitch at Katie Dids. Um, and also, I want to, of course, shout out B, who is an invaluable member of the Act Promptly team, uh, keeping I have score. no value. No, that's not true. You have so much <laughs> that's value. That's not true. So much. So much. I am so glad that I uh, have you around not only to keep score during the show, but also uh, bounce ideas off of uh, when in the writing phase, because you are a pivotal reason <laughs> uh, why this stuff works so well. So thank you very, very and much. And also, I won this episode before it even started. That is true. true. They did. That is true. Yeah. They did that's win. true. I got fourth place. <laughs> <laughs> um. And uh, before we head off for the night, I want to give uh, each of our players an opportunity to uh, plug their stuff. So, uh, hey, Sophie, where can folks find you on the internet? Hi there, my name is Sophie. I am at Sophie Baby everywhere on the freaking internet. Uh, I stream, I play all sorts of stuff. Lately, I've been playing uh, uh, some uh, some Warhammer 40k Dark Tide, which is a, a fun little game uh, that that I've I've been I've been affiliated with by the company to play. Um, and I also am currently working on a Minecraft uh, custom game, essentially, uh, which I'm going to be announcing and showing off development for one week from today on uh, on next Sunday. So keep an eye out for that. Yeah, that's awesome. Thank you so much, Sophie, for being here. Uh, Thank you for having me. Of course. Uh, Emily, where can folks find you? Uh, yeah, people can find me uh, at Great Cheshire on Twitter. And if you're watching this on Twitter, doesn't it? anymore which is looking increasingly likely uh -huh. uh, i'm also eight uh great cheshire on uh tumblr as well just go to lady emily on youtube where you can find my own essays i'll have a new one before november 30th and uh i'll you'll also find links to the other videos i've worked on mainly ones for sarah's ad um so yeah that's that's me they're really really good videos yeah they're really they're really, really, really fucking good. thank really, you really good. thank you i appreciate that <laughs> <laughs> uh mar where can folks find you they can find me on Twitter or Twitch or Tumblr at Mar Katoto. Everywhere you go, I will always be looking. I will always be there. You will not be able to escape me, and this will not be the last time I be on Act Promptly. Ooh. I will come back stronger and scarier than ever before. Have a great night, everybody. I pee my pants. Turn it off. <laughs> <laughs>